Hi guys, so today I am making a uh, lily pad pond soap and first of all I just like to apologize for the quality of this video. I was also doing a live video on Instagram at the same time so I didn't really focus the camera very much. I'm really sorry but just to give you an idea of how I made this soap, um, this is kind of a quickish sort of video and you can see my mom right now holding the <laughs> phone to do the Instagram live video. So I'm just mixing up my oils, why, and have my fragrance already mixed in there. And this is kind of a floral, so it moved pretty fast and got um, a little bit chunky as I was mixing it up. So I just kind of trying to mix it up, and I did speed this video up a little bit, so I don't actually move that fast. So I'm using two blues and two greens, a lighter green and a darker green, a lighter blue and a darker blue. And that's just kind of to represent the water and then the lily pads and the greenery that they have underneath the water. And this soap is inspired by our vacation to northern Minnesota when we stayed at a cabin and there was a lake and it had lots of lily pads. It was really beautiful. So the scent that I'm using is called Dragonfly, which I thought was a good scent because there were lots of dragonflies at the lake, and um, it is again a little bit of a floral, so you can see the soap batter is getting pretty thick. I gotta move fast. Yep, it's getting thick. <laughs> So this is also called a lily pad pour, um, it's just where you pour, you can kind of see the circles that I'm pouring the soap batter into, into the mold. Um, they layer out and make, it kind of looks like a lily pad, I think it looks like a lily pad, when you cut the bars of soap. Sometimes this is also called a bullseye pour, I think, so you can kind of see you just pour it on top of the other one, which I'm not doing that great a job. <laughs> also, one of my blues morphed, so it kind of turned out a little more purpley gray than blue, and you can see that that just happened right there. But thankfully the light blue stayed, so that was nice. And you know, lake water is kind of murky and gray, so I didn't really feel like it was a bad color choice. So this is just a little of the uncolored soap batter that I'm putting on top there. Trying to get every little bit out of there. And right now I'm just tapping the air bubbles out. You can't see that, it's off camera, but just tap the air bubbles out so all the little layers all stick together and there aren't big clumps of air, or voids of air, I guess, would be clumps. <laughs> This scent it's kind of a clean floral so it's not um, really strong like a rose or any kind of floral that you can really say oh this smells exactly like a lilac or exactly like a rose it's just a really nice clean light scent and just tapping those air bubbles out again is kind of slipping out. This mold is from Brambleberry. I forget if it's their 36, I think it's their 36 inch, or 36 bar mold. I can't remember exactly. I 
so we're getting to the very end here just putting the last bit of soap on top and then come the flower and leaf 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 flower and leaf embeds just trying to get that mold smoothed out there the top so the embeds will stick in there nicely and when it's cut they won't fall out. Kind of smoothing my lily pads into the water. Make sure each bar has an equal amount of soap when it gets cut. Okay, time for the leaves. Okay, so we are almost done here, just putting the last few flowers and the little teeny tiny leaves on top, and then we will be done in just a second. And if you watch the very end of the video, you'll see the cut bars, and then you'll also see some more pictures from our vacation. So watch to the end if you want to see that, it's kind of fun. Okay, so there's the finished soap, and I thought it turned out really nice. And these are the cut bars, and there you can see them all. And the colors turned out pretty nicely. There's the top. Each bar gets leaves and flowers, different ones. They're all very unique. 
and the pattern in the soap is really unique too. And these bars have shipped all over the world. We've even shipped some to Hong Kong. So they've been very popular. And now keep watching for some pictures from our vacation. <laughs>